Hey, what's going on, everybody? It's DJ Mods are here, and we've got 39 new and updated mods to take a look at today for Farm Sim 22. For all platforms, we have 31 new and two updates. And for PC and Mac players, we've got four new and two updates as well. I make mod review videos every time mods are released on the official in-game mod hub, so get subscribed if you're new. That way you don't miss them. First on the list today of a long list of new mods for all platforms, Bridow. This is a new map for all platforms today. Uh, it is based in Havenland, so there you go. The map is a real replica of the Bread Owl area in real life in Germany and includes fields, meadows, and all kinds of stuff. Up to 55 hectares is complete with surroundings, small yards for field management, forestry, true original replica of the machine hall, and shelter of the yard itself. External cord, seven productions, three cells, river, 41 small, and large fields etc etc you've even got five construction areas let's take a look at the pda here it is it is a massive huge fields 3.4 million 1.7 2 million 1.7 again uh, but it does get easier much easier back to uh land prices that are a little bit more doable however it does seem that the prices are much much higher than you would expect so just be ready for that it's not a 4X. I thought maybe it would be, but it doesn't appear to be a 4X. So heads up there. Uh, let's see. Let's go into our productions. Anything show up? Nope. So you're going to have to buy the productions that are there. As far as vehicles that we get in new farm remote, well, we've got the Star. We do have the Valtra and a Massey Ferguson. We've got the Deutz Far Combine Harvester. We do have the new pickup. Nice little Vegler trailer right there. We even have the header for the Harvester. And of course, three meter cultivator, cedar, mower, Forge wagon, which is not normal for new uh, farmer mode, and of course header trailer and a couple weights. Uh, it does seem like this is a very similar setup to the European map, brand new stuff. So there you go there. As far as consoles go, uh, if you start off, you're gonna be at 972 slots. So be aware of that. Now we do have a lot of vehicles and equipment today as well to take a look at. So let's start with the JCB 435S. We've got a stage four and stage five versions as well. So let's jump right in. 235 horsepower, automatic transmission, 400 liters of fuel, 24 miles an hour, and it weighs 15.3 tons. She's a big boy. Uh, also, it was 15 slots on console. As far as Will Brands, of course, we have Michelin, Trelleborg, Midas, Continental, BKT, and Nucky and Tires. We do have some standard wide duels, whatever you want to go with. Have some fun with it. Warning signs. Uh, see, we've got stickers on there. I assume these stickers will be on the back. Yeah. We also have signs, stickers and signs, or none all together. Beacon lights. We've got left outside, left inside, right inside, right outside. Insides, outsides go together. That one looks like bunny ears, so we're going to stick with that one. Attachers. This is hydraulic. What? What are you talking about? Okay, so it just adds hydraulics on the back or nothing. You don't need those if you don't want them. We've also got engines. So we have a 235 horsepower and 252 back and forth. Now, main color, this was chromed out in Farm Sims 19, but it doesn't look like it's chromed out here, but you can go. I mean, even a red one if you want. That's pretty cool. All black? Sure. We even have black tires to match it. Awesome. Here's one for you, the MAN TGS Shortwood. This is a new semi-truck for all platforms today. We got 500 horsepower, as you would expect. We've also got 490 liters of fuel, 49 miles an hour, 17.6 tons, and it is going to be 24 slots on consoles. Very heavy slot count is there. Will Brands, we've got Continental, Lizard Tires, Nuckin, back and forth between all those. Windshields, we've got... No windshield, but well, there's a windshield. Throws up a uh, man logo on there. Roof bar. Nope. Yes. We've got some lights up there and then nothing as well. Those are clear, by the way. Those look really good. Full bar. Throw that on there if you want to. Cabin color. Ooh, all of the colors. It's even got a really annoying blue that I love. So we're going to stick with that. Claw color. Now this is going to be on the back. Let's go with a pink claw color there. Move the camera all the way around so you could see it. Ooh, crane, crane color. I mean, lime green, right? Has to be lime green. And, uh, stackian? I don't, I don't know what that is, but it's the side things. Yeah, all right. Of course, you guys know, rim color is rim color. You got all of these, we'll go with brown. <laughs> From Matt 26, we got a pair of cedars for you. We've got the Rapid 300C and 400C for you. 
Uh, really, the only difference between these two is one holds a little bit more seed and fertilizer than the other one. And you got three meter versus four meter. Does all your standard crops. And they're even both nine slots each. The uh, three meter holds 3,100 liters of seed and fertilizer combined. Weighs 4.2 tons. 100 horsepower required three meters at 11 miles per hour. Uh, fertilizing, yes or no. So you can add fertilizer if you want. You don't have to have it. And then, of course, the exact same thing for this one, but it holds 4,300 liters. That's 4,300 liters of seed or seed and fertilizer. And we got some food mixers for you up next. We've got the Robert Mastermix 217T or the P. So we've got one that either empties out through the side or you've got one that's got a belt as well. So this will go left and right, which is pretty sweet. I thought we had a back door on here maybe, but it doesn't quite look like it from here. Anyway, regardless, uh, there's going to be a bit of a difference between both of these, at least if you're on console. So if you're using the belt drive, the one on the left, that's only going to be eight slots, where the one on the right is 15 slots. So just a heads up there, we'll go through some customization right here. 17,000 liter capacity, first and foremost, six tons, 90 horsepower required. Mixer cutters, we've got metal ones in there. Ooh, tungsten, ayo, love that red. That's pretty sweet. Wool brands, of course, you got some trailer board continental in there as well. Trail board standard and wide tires. That's nice to have. Uh, tub ring, you've got without or with. You can do that if you want to. I think it looks really good. Unloading mechanics. We have standard. Ah, so we can add the back door on there. That's pretty cool. And then as far as this version as well, the exact same customization options it looks like. Yep, 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 yep. So, uh-huh. So we can even change up what kind of doors this one has. So we got a uh, front left door, front right door, double front doors, left back door, Right back door, double back doors. Sounds really weird to say out loud. Let's move on. From AAA mining, we got some Fortress stuff for you guys today. We got the HW80 trailer pack. Yes, we've got the uh, the normal Forge one and the regular trailer as well. Let's start with the regular one, the 811. This has got 8,000 liter capacity, at least so it starts, 3.7 tons, and it is five slots for you guys. We can increase the capacity to 11,000. We need to put a top on it. 14,000, you got it. 15, okay, 20. Well, I mean, we're pushing it, but yeah, we got it. And of course, the bell trailer as well. Let's go with a pretty standard looking one right here for customization. We'll set up standard. Let me change those up a little bit if you want to. Ooh, yeah, the 600s. Nice. All right, main color. Pretty much whatever you want. Chassis color, same thing. We're going to go with an onyx through there. Cover color, well, we don't have a color selected there, but we'll go with that. Cover two, well, we don't have a cover there either. We do have rims. We're going to change those up to be black. How cool does that look? That looks awesome. We're going to have the exact same customization here as well, but we do have different sides. If you run in silage harvest, well, you could choose what you want through here. Five slots for this one right there. Same wheels, same main colors. Yep. Same chassis colors and even the same rim colors as well. Boom, baby. All right, better watch yourself. We got a three meter cultivator alert. Step aside, ladies and gentlemen. This is the ever so grumpy 7298. I need to do something better with that. I need like a little button. I don't know. Does anybody want to send me a button for three meter cultivator? Send me. <laughs> Did you go home and give me a gmail.com? Ever so grumpy. This is from Vertex Design. It's, I mean, it's a three meter cultivator. 140 horsepower, nine miles an hour, 1.3 tons, and it is four slots and zero customization. I mean, Vertex Design always do a great job and they have done an incredible job here. Design's awesome, but it's a three meter cultivator. I don't think anybody cares. Now we may not have any four shred uh, tractors, but we do have more implements from AAA modding. Here's another one for you. The Forsha B200, yeah. So 1.4 tons, 80 horsepower, two meters, a little small, uh, seven miles per hour, and it's going to be a total of three slots on consoles. We can make it blue, brown, green, ooh, red, that's different. And we can even change up the rim color. I'm gonna go red there as well. Here's a nifty one for you, the Kvernland CLE 430. This is a subsoiler, no customization, but it is kind of neat. I like that V shape to it. Two tons, 200 horsepower, 4.3 meter working width, seven miles per hour at um, what is that? three slots. There's really not a whole lot to this, but if you're looking for a Cavernland subsoiler, here it is. Another one from Matt26. We got his Horse Pronto DC. Very cool to see this. This is a cedar. It has a direct drill, which is very nice. We have this base game for a couple games, and then all of a sudden, poof, no more. At least I don't think it's in base game right now. If it is, uh, let me know. Either way, 5,000 liter capacity right here. Uh, that looks like it's going to be, uh, okay, so you can increase the capacity. That's kind of cool. 
uh, between five and seven thousand, two hundred seventy horsepower required. So it is pretty hefty. It's almost ten tons, nine meter spread at nine miles an hour, uh, and it's going to be a total of ten slots for you guys. It does all your standard cedar crops. You can change up a couple different ladder positions, and we can even change up some wheel setups if you really, really want to do that. That's a cool mod, man. Got an auto loader for you from Top Ace 888. We have the Flegel Flattenbed Semi Trailer. This is an auto loader. It weighs 5.9 tons. Uh, I don't know what kind of wheels those are. We can load all the round bells, 120, 150, and 180. And we can load all of the square bells, 180, 220, and 240. No baby bells. No itty bitty little baby bells. Heads up there. Uh, this is going to require nine, well, it says nine slots on the website, but it's not. It's four slots. So that's kind of cool. Uh, they do say it'll load between 26 and 34 uh, round bells or between 30 and 36 square bells, depending on which one you do. So you could do no auto load if you really don't want to. Oh, I'm seeing how they've done this. Hang on. No auto load. 36 square bells. Uh huh. I see how they've done. So they've actually made you choose which bell you're choosing other than the square bell, 220 or 240. But everything else you got to choose individually. So be careful. No other auto loaders like that in the game that I know of. They all just choose one. So heads up there. Uh, maybe Top Ace 888 can change that up later on and use the same script that everybody else is doing. Something like that. Either way, Will Brands, Continental, Truella Bog, Michelin Tires, BKT, Brad Stein. Uh, decal on the back. You got red and black and white. Attacher, standard. You got a trailer hitch on the back if you want to. Chassis color. Ooh, we can change this up. Yes, we can. Look at all these color options. Orange. We need orange. Flatbed color. I'm going with green. We have the same colors. <laughs> And the rim color, of course. Uh, let's see, still black, still silver, still chrome, black, silver, class red, going with it. <laughs> if you like the MKS, but you want something bigger, well, the Lizard MKS is going to be what you want. So this is from Lynn Minch. We've got two trailers right here. One of them is going to hold 13,500. The other holds 16,500. These are going to be seven slots and eight slots, respectively. On here, designs, mud flap, decoration number one, which is nothing, deco two, Three, four, five. Oh yeah, and then back to nothing. Attacher type. We've got air hoses being black. We've also got those colored uh, capacity of fertilizer and herbicide, milk and water, back and forth between both of those. We've also got wheel setup, so you could do a steering wheel axle or nothing. Main color. Well, we've got chrome. We've got silver. We do have all of the colors. One thing they've done is they've made this a matte tank. So that is great news. Design color on the bottom. There you go. And of course, rim color is rim color. Next up, we've got a wrapped bell handler. This is from Agor Design Austria. Yes, 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 yes. This uh, was pretty basic overall with its functionality, but its design really, really good through here. Uh, design, we have a wrapped bell handler. You can do, do, also do bell spike. That is cool. Uh, decals, we've got design, middle, Change up however you want to do there. And then attacher type. You've got a three point. We've also got Euro and three point attacher type. Power and then back to three point again. This will be three slots. And finally, we have the Wilson Paysetter. Don't worry, we're, I don't even think we're halfway through the new mods yet. Uh, Wilson Paysetter, this is from Whiskey Sierra Modding. The spread axle version in the very back. 60,000 liter capacity, weighs 7.9 tons, and is going to be nine slots. A very, very good overall design. We got no toolbox. You can throw a toolbox in there if you think the wheels look a little weird, just spread out like that. You also have some stock mud flaps on the back. You do uh, quadruples if you want on all of them or none of them all together. Main color, we've got, uh, let's see, we'll select that. <laughs> That's a bunch of colors, man. Uh, Nitro Blue, Whiskey Sierra, I see you, I see you. Um, these, oh, these, these colors are very familiar. Um, anyway, we'll go with Nitro Blue, we'll put that on there. And then rim colors, of course, you've got all of these bad boys through here. Stick with Chrome. Next up from Camilos, we have the Coeco 141. This is an older style, at least it appears to be an older style trailer. I really like the design of this. I think it looks fantastic. Uh, also, it does appear to maybe possibly be the Kloss trailer from base game, but that's neither here nor there. Uh, this is going to hold 17.5 thousand liters, 4.9 tons. Got some 404s, so love that. And it is five slots. Capacity 17.5. We also have 22.5 on here, 24.5 on one side, and back to, oh, 12.6. Neat. Uh, Will Brands are going to be Trailer Bork, Michelin Tires, BKT, Rod Stein. Very cool there. Chassis color. We do have 
grays, which are basically the cloth stuff. Uh, we do have some oranges as well. Let's go with like a really old orange design up here. Let's go with like a ugh, green. Oh, <laughs> it looks awesome. Uh, extension color. Uh, none of these don't look good. Uh, they all look great. Ooh, brown. <laughs> and then uh, rim color, bright red, just cause. Nice. Yo, I really like this trailer. Next up, we have the Kvernland TLX. Uh, it's not a TLX. This is not good enough to be. I'm just kidding. Uh, this Geo spread, yeah. Um, you guys are probably familiar with this. I believe this was the fertilizer spreader from the Kvernland Viking DLC that was huge, but it didn't do lime. Well, this one does lime. Uh, 3,900 liter capacity. Uh, you've got some anti-mud guards. You can throw those on there if you want to. Attachers, you got a little trailer hitch on the back if you want to. Cover. Of course, yeah, of course we want to throw a cover on there and even some transport wheels. That is very, very cool. 42 meter spread at 11 miles per hour and console players is going to be six slots. That is not the only fertilizer spreader we've got because we got another one, the ZATS from Amazon. 1400, 1700, 2000, 2600 and 3200 liter capacity for fertilizer only. You can put a cover on there if you really want to. I don't know what's going on, but uh, things to be... Things seem to be flipping out a little bit. Um, 42 meter spread also at 11 miles an hour. How's about a drum weight? Yo, these are sweet. This is from uh, Kelty Barrow. I'm, I hope I said that right. Uh, standard design. We've also got uh, Armand Motors. We've got a uh, Clever Motors like that. Love it, love it. Uh, Craft Lamesh and Ag Motorex. A hey, good to see Motorex on there. Uh, we've also got some Agco, Case IH, Kloss, Fiat. Uh, all of it. Okay. Uh, JCP, John Deere, John Deere, New Holland, Valtra, and then back to standard again on the standard one. You can actually choose which colors you use. Neat. This is going to be five. Oh, five slots on consoles for a weight. Yikes. Here's another weight for you. This is the three point bull bar from Soto Modding Industries. Hey, -o. this weighs one ton, so it is weighted perfectly. And uh, two slots. I mean, there's really not a whole lot to this, is there? Just a front weight, uh, three point, lower it down, push things out of your way. I'm probably going to be using this quite a bit because I love the way this looks. Would be neat in a future update to get some decals or something on the front as well. But as it sits right now, totally happy with this. I know it's simple. I love it. I'm only allowed to put one item down. I need to... <laughs> Need to get this changed up. Next one from Schulz Mate. What up, dude? We have the portable sleep trigger called the overnight bag. I think I've got his old version right there, but we got the overnight bag. You can literally put the bag down wherever you want and you can, well, sleep. Here it is on the Xbox, which is really, really cool. Man, it, he is, Schultz, you are doing some really neat stuff. This is a mobile sleep trigger for all platforms. Throw it in the back of your truck with your toolbox, mobile toolbox, which he also might. I'm excited right now. Your next one right here is the Silo System Pack, and I had to pull it up in Google real quick just to show you how physically many things there are. There's a ton of stuff in here, all kinds of little silos and everything. You've got pieces for uh, regular silos. You have loading stations for large and small, and silo quarter 30, 40,000, 50,000 liter capacities. You also have round extensions and square extensions, and silo corner for seeds and lime and fertilizer and fodder and more fodder and seeds and lime and fertilizer. There's so many! Ah! <laughs> if we load back into the game. Uh, but there's it's got to be around or somewhere. Yeah, we got a couple little storage areas right here if you want to go with those silo extensions. Of course, we have, uh, I think the word is all of the above. <laughs> yeah, I think the word's all of the above through there. So we have a ton of stuff in containers as well. We got stuff in here. Just tell the bot to go through. There's, there's like a thousand pieces in here. Not really. I think there's like 20 though. There's a lot. 46! Holy cow! I just saw the number. 46. Ah! Here's one I can definitely pull up in the game because it's not going to take me half an hour to do everything. The Nero Grain Silo. This is going to hold, uh, say, 200,000 liters. It'll cost you 120 grand. Come up, drop your stuff off right there. Come around the back. Do what you need to do around here. Not going to say that out loud again. Let's move on. Next, we'll put down a couple of these, but we have the small silo set. So we have four silos and we've got, we go into extensions. We've got one extension. So we've got these small silo extensions. Double check, make sure there's no more. All right. So uh, this is just going to be normal. And it says it increases capacity of your yada, yada, yada. Over here, we have a small harvesting silo. So this will hold 500,000 liters of all your standard stuff. We've also got the 
bulk silo, consumable silo. So you can see uh, if we zoom in on the side right there, you've got, uh, I'll say seeds, fertilizer, lime, salt, and I believe that's mineral feed as well. And then we have a multi-fruit silo, which holds 10 bajillion liters of everything. How cool is that? Neat. Here's a mod that I find super neat. This is the carport workshop from the little farmer. This could be found in tools. It is not in sheds. It does have a little workshop in here as well. So you come in here, do what you need to do. I think this is awesome. Yeah. Next, we got the small concrete shed. This is from Michael S. The small concrete shed made for construction and ways. Do whatever you want to with it. Uh, there's some little stuff in here. Pretty nice. Concrete looks fairly well whenever you get up real close to it. Uh, I'm getting a little bit of a frame drop, a drop, but I did place down a bunch of placeables as well. I apologize. Anyway, there you go. There's really not a whole lot to it. Check it out if you like it. Next is the brick block medium shed. Brick block. Brick block. That's concrete. These are brick blocks right here. Love it. Yeah, there's some, some definitely some frame drops. This says 60, but that's a lie. Uh, <laughs> nonetheless, this is really cool because it's got kind of like a little carport area inside the carport. You got some blocks out here, some wood, and these. I don't know. This looks really good. It's very unique, and I like that. It's also from the same modder that made the uh, the other one as well. Check this out, dude, this is nice. That's not the only thing he made because we also have this, the double walled fuel tank. We'll come up here, go ahead and open it up. Ooh, we got some little animations as well. That's kind of cool. So this, it looks like, yeah. So we can refill this with diesel. So we could buy that, sure, do the thing. So we've now got a fuel tank on our farm. Good to go, that is cool. Next one's called the Lamps Electrovit CSSR 60 through 90 years. I have no idea what that means, but I do know that this is a lot of lamps. Uh, you got a bunch of them in here. Uh, if you go into, why am I facing this way? Come on, idiot. Uh, if you go in here, you go to decoration, go to lights, and you got a bunch of them all the way through. I believe it's this one right there. So here you go. Here's all your lamps. They do come on automatically at night. That's a lot. That's a lot of lamps, man. But they do look cool. I like the uh, yellow and the red look. Very nice. For your next one, unfortunately, I can't show it in the game. I gotta show it here because I don't know where the house is on the map. Urgh. This is the Pioneer tent right here. This is gonna cost you 20 grand, obviously. Five bucks per day. Kind of looks like the tent from Red Dead. Not gonna lie. I'm not against it, though. I do like those. That looks pretty cool. Nice. We're getting close, I promise. Only two more. This is the chicken egg tent. Uh, price go to be 1500 bucks. Daily means $5. And you can sell your eggs to this dude right here. He wants to buy your eggs. So all you gotta do is just bring them to him. He will buy your eggs. Uh, of course, this is a uh, production and it is a cellular point. Cell point, not a, a shut up. And lastly, this should be no confusion. Sell everything. It's literally what it's called. They say they've made two different sell points where you can sell all of your crops, spells, loot, rods, products, and everything at the factories and the animals. All the extra seed and fertilizer and all of that good stuff. There you go. So, very cool. They say the contain and uh, rename function can be used on any map with any other buildings. Cost deployments one grand. Oh man. Now we do have some mod updates for you guys. The first one is going to be the JCB419S from Rawson Mods. And this is changelog 1.0.1. Fix the steering wheel decal, fix the camera position and suspension, added twin wheel options, added manual gearbox option, added the opening door and other minor fixes and improvements. So there you go. We got a twin wheel option in the front. Sweet. And your only other mod update for all platforms today is going to be the sugar bee processing plan from Vertex Design version 1.0.1. .1. Added animation for transporting impels, adjusted the production time, and reduced the cut sugar bee output by 5%. Boo. All right, let's make our way into mods for uh, PC and Mac players today. We got four new ones. Well, let's check them out. The first one's not really new, but it does exist now. So that's kind of cool. The Midwest drew a 60 foot. So so oh, this is the Lizard Durus uh, 60, something like that. Anyway, uh, it's quite literally the same, uh, even with the coupler configurations. Of course, main colors, you can change those up whatever you need to. Design color, do that as well. And even room color. So that's very good. All well and normal through there. And we've even got the header trailer for it. Funny enough, I've got a video showing off the uh, Lizard version coming out in a couple days. 
Perfect timing. Next is the Solano Subsoiler. Words I like to say out loud. This is the five pulse. Uh, weighs about three quarters of a ton. 80 horsepower is required. 2.2 meter work with seven miles an hour. DJ, what does it does? It's a subsoiler. Got a different subsoiler if you like different versions as well. This one is the Hecamp CV650 or the Hecamp. I don't, I don't know. Um, toothpaste tractor designs. We've got tooth type one and two. <laughs> Sorry, I had to. And then we've got the tubular roller, man. Yeah. Uh, three meters, nine miles per hour, 80 horsepower, and weighs 830 kilograms. But it's a subsoiler, so can't make fun of it. And your last new one for PC and Mac players today. I can't figure out why it's not on all platforms. Maybe it's a, um, a name thing? Licensing, perhaps? I thought we had the name brand for license for Sapphire, but I guess not. Anyway, Sapphire Weight Pack. Uh, so Greenland Farming and the Bolts. So this is a... 800 kilogram you got design with and without main color you can go black or i hope you like black because it's darker uh and we've got three versions 800 1000 and 1200 all right mod update time for pc and mac players we've got two of them the first one is the instant wash this uh thing that i do right here uh they say <laughs> this is version 1.001 a hot feed crash caused by the language detection code i think they fixed that hopefully spamming it doesn't hurt either <laughs> And your last mod is the Grow Now mod, where you hit the delete key and everything grows just like so. Check that out. It's pretty cool. Uh, anyway, this is version 1.0.5.1. Fix some languages, cause the game crash issued by the language detection code. Same modder, same change log. I love it. Well, guys, that is going to be it for today's new mod video. And I think maybe the last new mod video for uh, yeah, almost a week. So I'm going to be going on vacation in like two hours from the time this releasing. I'm going to be going Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. I'll be coming back Wednesday night. So heads up there. Thursday, we'll be back to normal schedules next week. I'm also going to do a weekly or daily review video, at least attempt to. So uh, stay tuned for that. Also, we're live streaming for some news today. So be ready for that. I'll be done. Hope you have a great day. Yeah, we'll see you later. Peace.